Does anybody have a yes, Lord, in the spirit this morning? Uh, does anybody have a yes, Lord, in the spirit of this morning? I guess somebody to say yes. Uh, I think it's somebody to say yes. Uh, say it to your feet until it feels good in your soul. Praise the Lord, everyone. Greetings in that profound name, Lord Jesus Christ. Certainly it is a privilege and an honor to come into your homes, your automobiles, and wherever you may be listening to this telecast today. Amen. We say praise the Lord and may God's blessings richly be upon you. Amen. We've come once again to a Bible class to say something about the word of the Lord. But we want you to share and let someone know that the Greater Refuge Temple family is on the air. This is Pastor Ken from 1317 Row Avenue here in the city of Jacksonville, Florida. We're grateful tonight for our sister church, amen, the Very Refuge Temple in Lakeland, Florida, amen, where our beloved pastor is Apostle Dr. Jim Groover Sr., who has, amen, led us some 57 years. So certainly we're glad for the blessings of the Lord tonight, amen. As we have a word of prayer together, Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your divine mercy, your gift, amen, that you've given unto your children. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, oh God, for the water baptism in your name. We thank you for the truth of your word. We pray for healing for our nation, for our world, that you would bless in a special way. You would comfort those who lost loved ones. And we pray for those who are going through sickness and illness, you would touch and heal their bodies. Visit, oh God, the nursing homes, oh God, the sick beds. In Jesus' name we pray to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Certainly God is a healer. He is a deliverer. He is a way maker. Amen. A burden bearer. He will do exactly what he said he will do. Praise the Lord. I want you, oh God, to believe God tonight. Amen. For the miracle that you desire. Uh, from the Lord Jesus Christ. It is our privilege, amen, to be with you tonight. And we want to say thank you to all of the members of the Great Refuge Temple family, Jacksonville and Lakeland, for your tithe, your offerings, for your special donations, and to those who have sent donations, amen, who are not a part of the ministry, we thank you, amen, for your love gift tonight. Amen. Certainly God is a great God. And don't forget to share, let someone know that we're on the air as well as, amen, those who've been asked by the Florida ICs as well, amen, as they, amen, our two churches, make sure that you call at least two people and invite them, amen, to know Jesus Christ, amen, as we witness one to another. We thank God tonight. We're preparing for the word of the Lord, amen, amen, to say something to you tonight, amen, concerning the mercies of God. Certainly it's God's divine mercy. Amen. That brought us where we are. Praise the Lord. We did not deserve the mercies of God, but some way or the other, God saw fit to bless us and to bring us into the kingdom for such a time as this. I want us to look tonight, amen, in the book of Second Peter, uh, the first chapter, amen, as we look down through a few verses here of First Peter. Amen. We want to thank God, amen, for his eternal blessings, amen, for his grace upon us. God is good, praise the Lord, and because of his mercy that we are not consumed. I want to, as we continue with our main thought, amen, Second Peter, amen, 1, 1 uh, through 9, but I want us to be reminded of the vision for the kingdom, amen, our thought for this year, amen, as our apostle delivered to us, amen, as we would have a look at the kingdom to see God and to know God better, 
from day to day. I want to talk about tonight the walk of a child of God, the walk of a child of God. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Peter says, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul, rather Peter, says that I am a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ. I am a bond slave, a servant of Jesus Christ, a special messenger whom God has ordained and brought to this time to give you a word, to encourage you, amen, and to know, amen, that we all have attained the same like precious faith through the righteousness of God. And, the, and our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. It was Jesus, amen, and grace and mercy that called us to be chosen by God. Amen. I feel chosen. And every child of God ought to feel that God chose you uh, for such a time as this. That you could be a blessing. Amen. He's given us the same faith. Praise the Lord. We all have attained the same faith. He hadn't given some a different faith and another faith. Amen. But there's one Lord, one faith, and there's one baptism. We all call to that one faith. And Peter talks about it as a precious faith given to us through the righteousness of God. It's not something that we could obtain on our own. But thank God for his mercy and his grace. He's given us this precious faith. It's to be revered. It's to be, amen, respected. Praise the Lord that God has given us this spiritual well-being. Praise the Lord. He has possessed us, amen, with the same kind of faith, amen, that the Lord has put in us. For he said, if the same spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, if it be in you, it will also quicken your mortal body. We have this same precious faith, this spirit that has been given to us, amen, by the righteousness of God. Praise the Lord. We have nothing to brag about. We have nothing, amen, to feel like we're better than anyone else. Praise the Lord. Oh, but by the mercy of God. Praise the Lord. He has given us the same precious faith, amen, that we can look to the God who's able, amen, to bless us and to heal us and to bring us into, amen, a knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. As we, amen, search for the vision of the kingdom, as we search for more understanding, more knowledge, amen, it's going to come through Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ. It's going to come through the knowledge of God. We thank God for his wonderful mercy, his grace. Amen. Second Peter, the third and fourth verse says, according to the divine power, which he has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Peter says it was according to his divine power. He's given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, he didn't leave anything out, praise the Lord, but he bestowed on us absolutely everything necessary, amen, for us to be, amen, the dynamic Christian, praise the Lord, that God, the spiritual person that God desired us to be. I do understand the fact that we grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
I want you to know that divine power has been bestowed on every one of us. Praise the Lord to give us everything we need that pertains to life and to godliness. Praise the Lord. He's put life in you. He's put, praise the Lord, a well of water springing up in your soul, in your being, that you have the power, praise the Lord, to resist the devil. The Bible says, resist him and he will flee from you. Praise the Lord. That's the kind of power that we have received from the almighty God. Praise the Lord. That do the most power. Praise the Lord. We can tell the devil, the enemy. Praise the Lord. You can't have my soul. You can't have my mind. You can't have my body. Praise the Lord. For my body belongs to God. My whole body, my soul, my mind belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. He has bestowed upon us his precious, magnificent promises. Praise the Lord. They are, they're so valuable. Amen. You can't even express how valuable the Holy Ghost is. If you were a millionaire, a billionaire, a trillionaire, you couldn't buy what we got. You can't buy the Holy Ghost. You can't buy the power of God. I don't care how mighty you are. Amen. If you leave, amen, as the president of the United States of America, you can't buy this kind of power. This is the divine power that comes only from the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's not according to who you know. Praise the Lord downtown, who you know uptown, round town. Praise the Lord. But if you know Jesus and you have a relationship with Jesus, praise the Lord. He blesses us to walk as children of God. Praise the Lord. This is a valuable, most precious commodity. Praise the Lord, and it causes us to escape the immortal thing that's happening in the world. Praise the Lord, we don't have to live below what God has called for us to do. He's given us an escape from the lustful things of the world. Praise the Lord, God bless you that you can say no. And he give you the power to resist the devil. Praise the Lord, he give you the power because the devil is coming to try every child of God. He's coming to try your walk. He's coming to try your commitment. Praise Lord, to see if you really got your mind made up. Are you really ready to give up the world and follow Jesus? We used to sing that song years, years ago, give up the world and follow Jesus. Give up everything to follow the Lord. Simon Peter said, I, 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 I'm a bondsman. Praise the Lord. I'm a servant to Jesus Christ. No servant does what he want to do, but he's under the command of the master. Praise the Lord. If the master said, come, he come. The master says, go, then he's got to go. He said, according to the divine power, praise the Lord that he's called us and given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Saints, we are blessed with all these exceeding great, exceeding great and precious promises of God. Praise the Lord. We might be partakers of that divine nature. And what you mean, preacher? God's given us a divine nature. He's given us, praise the Lord, the ability to be like him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To be able to walk like he did, to talk like he did. Amen. To have the ability, amen, to resist the devil even as he did. For he says, in my name you shall cast out devils. In my name you shall do many great works. In my name. It's not in us, but it's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's bestowed upon us, amen, and given us all diligence. He said, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. Here we are, 
being challenged as children of God, how to walk with God, how to appreciate what God has done to us. Peter said, besides all this, give all diligence. Give everything. Apply yourself. Praise the Lord. Apply yourself. This is just a reasonable request of God. He said, applying to, to, to all diligence, to the divine promises, make every effort to do what God has called you to do. Amen. Don't be slowful. Amen. Don't be selfish. Amen. But do all that you know to do. Praise the Lord to, amen, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge. Praise the Lord. You got to have a moral excellency in your life. Praise the Lord. You got to know God. You got to understand God. You got to ask God for insight. Praise the Lord into his will and purpose for your life. Praise the Lord. Not just we just roam around from day to day with no purpose for our lives. But we ought to ask God to give us knowledge, praise the Lord, amen, that we'll know how, amen, to walk among, amen, the people of God, among the world, and let them know that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened in our lives. He says to that, he says, amen, to your knowledge and add temperance, add some self-control. Amen. Sometimes folks lose all self-control and say, excuse me, preacher, let me take care of this. Uh, amen. Because I, I can't be pushed around like this. But God said, I want you to learn temperance. I want you to learn self-control. Praise the Lord. And in your self-control, praise the Lord, I want you to be steadfast. Hold on to what God's given us. Praise the Lord. What God's given us is precious. Praise the Lord. And add to Amen. Temperance, patience. Praise the Lord to be patient. Praise the Lord to understand that everything can't happen overnight. Praise the Lord. You're not going to get everything overnight. It's not going to come that way. But you got to have some temperance and you got to have some patience. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, in your patience possessing your soul. Praise the Lord. You got to be patient. You got to wait on God. Praise the Lord. He said, wait, I say, on the Lord. And be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. When we can learn how to wait on God, praise the Lord. You're going to go through some simple, some difficult times. You're going to go through some trials. We're going to go through some temptations. Sometimes we're going to be tried on every side. Praise the Lord. But hold on to your faith. Hold on to your righteousness. Hold on to your self-control. Amen. To your steadfastness. Praise the Lord. Our foundation is sure. Praise the Lord. We know that our foundation is sure. Those who trust in Jesus, you've been founded upon the rock of ages. Praise the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ is our foundation. Every Christian ought to, amen, develop himself. Praise the Lord. On the foundation that God has set in order. Praise the Lord for us as we, amen, find ourselves in difficult times, but standing fast. In difficult hours, but holding to our faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah for faith. Praise the Lord is what God has given to every child of faith. Romans 1 and 17 says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Praise the Lord. God has given us faith. I can't live without faith. Praise the Lord. I can't do what I need to do if I can't believe God. Praise the Lord that his word is true and what he has said, he's well able to bring it to pass. Praise the Lord. When we trust God, praise the Lord, when we give God the praise and the glory and the honor, God moves us into a place Praise the Lord of stability that we can say with the surety, praise the Lord, I know it's going to be all right. Praise the Lord, I know God's going to make a way. I know we're coming out of this better uh, than we went in. Praise the Lord, that's what God wants to hear 
from every child of God as we walk with God as children of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are the children of God by faith. Praise the Lord. He has drafted us into the kingdom. Praise the Lord in such a time as this. So he want us, amen, to remember, amen, and to your uh, patience, godliness. Praise the Lord. Righteous living, holy living. Praise the Lord. Living like, praise the Lord, you love God. And you love his word and you love his people. Praise the Lord. For he says it's all linked together. Praise the Lord. You can't just do one and don't do the other. Praise the Lord. But you got to do the whole book. Praise the Lord. You got to do it all. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. Praise the Lord. To have the love of God. To love our brothers. To love those Praise the Lord, whom God has given to us. And not only that, praise the Lord, but God said to love the world. Praise the Lord, to love your enemy, to love him who despitefully used you. Praise the Lord, you don't have a choice in how you love. Praise the Lord, you may make a choice, but you may make the wrong choice. But if you make God's choice, praise the Lord, even those who despitefully use you, praise the Lord, you'll love them anyway. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, well, I might uh, forgive him, but I'm not going to forget it. But the Lord say, forget it. Praise the Lord. Don't let, praise the Lord, that thing grow in you. Praise the Lord, because if you don't, it will grow up. Praise the Lord to a mighty, amen, weed in you. Praise the Lord. It'll choke out the word of God. Out of you, many people have become bitter. Praise the Lord against their brother, against, amen, one another. But we can't let that affect us. Praise the Lord. What somebody may do to us or say to us or treat us because, praise the Lord, vengeance is the Lord's. Praise the Lord. And he said, I will repay, said the Lord. We don't have to fight our battles. God is a battle like to the time of a battle. Praise the Lord. You just keep self-control. You just do what the Lord has told you to do. You just develop yourself. Praise the Lord, as you grow in knowledge and understanding, develop yourself. Praise the Lord in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, God is calling us. Praise the Lord that we will learn to be unselfish. Praise the Lord, we will seek the best for others and do things for their benefit. Praise the Lord, sometimes people only want, amen, things that are going to benefit them. Praise the Lord, if you don't help me, then I'm not going to help you. Praise the Lord, if it doesn't benefit me, I don't want no part of it. But God said, seek to do the best that you can for others. Praise the Lord, when you can get out of the way and you can see the importance, praise the Lord, of doing for other folks, amen, as much as you do for yourself. Praise the Lord, that's a hard thing. That's a hard thing. People say, I can't love, praise the Lord, nobody like I love myself. Praise the Lord. And it's certain and true that we love ourselves. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the Lord said, praise the Lord, he loved us more than we loved him. Praise the Lord, he gave his life for us. So he's saying to us, let us do the best. Let's seek unselfishly, amen, to bless others and to treat others the way we would desire to be treated. Praise the Lord. That's what God says for us. Praise the Lord. He says in 1 Corinthians 13 and 8, charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. But it's something about charity. The pure love of God. The Bible says it never faileth. God's love don't fail. Charity doesn't fail. Praise the Lord. It is there. Praise the Lord for eternity. He said even prophecies shall fail. Tongues shall fail. And shall cease. But whether there be knowledge. It shall vanish away. But love abideth forever. 
Open up your hearts. Open up your hearts to the will of God. Open up your hearts to the love of God. This is the walk of a child of God. Praise the Lord. It, it's not an easy walk, but it's a joyous walk. He gives us joy. He gives us the ability, amen, that even in the tough times, we can still find joy and peace from our Lord Jesus Christ. He says in, praise the Lord, 1 Corinthians, the 13th uh, verse of that 13th chapter, he said, Now by his faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Praise the Lord. Now abide, it remaineth. It doesn't go away. Faith abides forever. Hope abides. Thank God for the hope that we have in the Son. Thank God for the hope that he's given us. And we can live a life dedicated to the Almighty God. God will help us to see, amen, what he has, amen, commanded for us. He says, and charity, these three, and he put love last. He said, but the greatest of these is charity. It's good to have faith. It's good to have hope. But you can't live without the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is love. God is love. The divine God. He is love, that he loved us so much. He said, these three remain. The unselfishness, the love that, praise the Lord, is God's choice. These are the God's choice. The greatest of these is charity. God wants to have faith. He wants to have hope. But most of all, he wants to have charity. He wants to have love that faileth not. The love that brings us into a relationship with God that nothing else can. Nobody can do it like God can. And he says in verse 8, For as these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. If these things be in you and abound, if these qualities of God are yours and you're forever increasing in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, we're moving toward spiritual maturity. We're moving toward a place God wants us to be where we can have the right relationship with God to a spiritual maturity with God. So that we're not just spitting words, but we are demonstrating the power and the effectiveness of the Holy Ghost. What God does inside of a man, praise the Lord, that makes us new creatures. He said, you are a new creation through Christ Jesus our Lord. We are a new creation. He said, these things be in you and abound. They make you that you should neither be barren nor unfruitful. You cannot be unfruitful, unbarren if these things are in you. Praise the Lord. He said, but he that liketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. And have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. God help us that we don't go backwards but we'll go forward in the walk of a child of God. And we won't like these things. We won't become blind, unforgiving, praise the Lord, selfish, and cannot see the whole picture. Don't have a great vision of God, just a little narrow vision. But God, open our eyes to understand what your will is for us. Peter says, and this will be our last verse, wherefore, the rather brothering give diligence to make 
your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Praise the Lord. Make sure that you got it together. Make sure, praise the Lord, you got everything you need to go forward and to mature and to be what God has called you to be. To, to be. Make sure, praise the Lord, that you recognize, praise the Lord, the calling and the choosing of God in your life. Praise the Lord that God has confirmed and you have confirmed a relationship with God. Praise the Lord, not just words. Praise the Lord coming off your lips, but a relationship in your heart. Praise the Lord that you will, amen, develop and become the active person, amen, that God has called you to be. Praise the Lord that you would allow God, amen, to give you fruit, amen, that we can be like the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad tonight that God is such a great God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is such a merciful God. Praise the Lord. He is the almighty God. He encompasses everything that a man ought to be. Praise the Lord. Thank God for a man like Jesus Christ. The Bible says he knew no sin, neither were there any gal found in his mouth. Praise the Lord. He didn't praise the Lord cause Praise Lord, any hurt, any harm to anyone, but he only did what was good and what was right. The Bible talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Praise the Lord, and God wants us to develop ourselves. Praise the Lord, in the fruit of the Spirit, that we'll know what God's desire is for us. Praise the Lord, as we serve a mighty God, a great God. In our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank God tonight. I want to be a part of what God is doing. Praise the Lord. I want to be a part of what God is doing in these last days. And in Galatians 5, 22, he says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. God wants us to bear fruits of the Spirit. We'll know how to love. We'll know how to have peace, joy, long-suffering, gentleness, kindness, faith, meekness, temperance. He said, against there is no law. Praise the Lord. God has called us for a purpose to demonstrate the life and the walk of a child of God. God bless you tonight. May the Lord bless you. May heaven smile upon you. May the word bless you tonight to know, praise the Lord, you must be born again into the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. And without that new birth, you can never be what God wants you to be. You can never walk the walk of a child of God until you give up the world and follow Jesus and receive Jesus Christ into your life. Father, we thank you tonight for your divine word. We thank you that you've given us walk for those who have come to you. We will be a light to the world. We pray for salvation. We pray for your blessings upon this world. That men would know there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Praise the Lord. There's one God. There's one Savior of all mankind, the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that men would receive the promise of the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues that the Spirit of God give others. Praise the Lord that they will be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be buried and their sins be washed away in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Praise the Lord. Until next time, amen. May heaven smile upon you. Praise the Lord. And may you walk, amen, the walk of a child of God.